the Wonder Boys of White Hart Lane are or are not the team of the century can't possibly be more than a matter of opinion. Why do I love Tottenham Hotspur? Everything about them really, just the Saturday afternoons going down to the ground, getting to your seat, hearing the music play, the roar of the crowd, the players. The plain fact is that Spurs and nobody else this century have achieved the double. You know, when you're at a club like Tottenham, they expect you to win all the time. The best club in the country as far as I'm concerned. First time I went to White Hart Lane, I got a feeling of belonging to something very special. And no matter how bad things seem with Spurs, I always remember the good times, and that's why I keep supporting them. A lap of honour with the European Cup Winners' Cup. Danny Blanchflower and his brilliant team make football history. I love it that, uh, that Tottenham's got this tradition, and that we've got to keep to this tradition of being a really good uh, footballing outfit. that in September 1882, a group of young members of the Hotspur Cricket Club met to form a football section. So the new football club, looking for a dash of style towards the end of the 19th century, forsook the familiar town, United or City, and called themselves Tottenham Hotspur. Not knowing then that the aristocratic ring of the name was to manifest itself in the stylish football the club was to play in the next 100 years. A group of um, very good players, and good I mean by good by their willingness to be advised. Really the thing that changed it completely was the uh, buying of players like uh, White and Mackay and uh, Bill Brown, Greaves. Uh, they were the men that really changed everything. So Nicholson the player became Nicholson the coach, building his team around arguably the most influential player ever to wear the Tottenham shirt. To the vision and wisdom of Danny Blanchflower, Nicholson added the mercurial ball play of Scotland's John White. Also from north of the border, to the peal of thunder, came Dave Mackay. Allen going down and scores! Cliff Jones excelled as Spurs won the championship in a canter. Now they marched on to Wembley and the FA Cup final. The preliminaries over, the teams took the fields and league champions Tottenham Hotspur. Smith, he took that magnificently, a great goal, a beautiful goal. Tottenham Hotspur, the league champions, have won the FA Cup. The plain fact is that Spurs and nobody else this century have achieved the double. But amid the celebrations, Tottenham were already thinking ahead to the European Cup and to the bold, inspired signing of Jimmy Greaves, the greatest goal scorer of his generation. Spurs 4 0. I said to the lads, look, the one thing we've got to do is to give everything we've got. Spurs on the right, and the teams come onto the field. 45 minutes of some of the best play Wembley's ever seen pass all too quickly. Spurs have the lead again. It's all over. Spurs have won, returning to the keeping of Tottenham Hotspur, the most coveted of all sporting trophies. The ball is at the magic feet of Jimmy Green. Green is there, one for Spurs. Danny Blanchflower and his brilliant team make football history as the only English team to bring the European trophy to Britain. Bill Nick has just put his, uh, his thumbprint on everything that's good about Tottenham. You get a few great managers. Bill Nick was as good as anyone. Frank Saul shot into the net. Spurs 2, Chelsea 1, London's old rivals had given the 100,000 at Wembley a final to be long remembered. Mackay recovered to captain Spurs to the FA Cup in 1967. The team now included Jennings, England and Gilzean. But it was a 15-year-old schoolboy in the crowd who would be the next Tottenham captain to receive the FA Cup. Spurs reached four cup finals in Perryman's first four years as a regular. And 
And here they come, the Spurs from the first division. And he's done it again, Martin Chivers. Spurs have won the Football League Cup of 1971. A kiss for the cup. And there you are, White Hart Lane. The UFA Cup was clinched against Wolves in 1972 by the powerful Martin Chivers. But this and two League Cups still left Nicholson the perfectionist short of the swaggering standards he'd set. He resigned in 1974 and Terry Neal had two years as Spurs manager. I was in tears in the dressing room. As a kid, it was my club. And to think that I was a part of a team that took them down, that hurt, that really hurt. But it was Keith Birkenshaw who had to shoulder the burden of relegation in 1977. Promotion after just one year was celebrated by Spurs on Southampton's ground. There, Birkenshaw clinched the signing of Ricky Villa and Argentina's midfield player Osvaldo Ardiles. Players in keeping with the purest tradition of Tottenham Hotspur. Three minutes to go. Villa for Spurs. No score in the match so far. Number seven, Ardiles. The signing in 1980 of Steve Archibald and Garth Crooks, with these two responding to Hoddle's prompting, Spurs were on their way to Wembley. Crooks is going through here. Oh, he's outpaced them. Crooks is there. Oh, yes. That semi final victory over Wolves took Spurs into the 100th FA Cup final. And still Ricky Villa. What a fantastic run. He scored. Spurs have won the cup. For the two South Americans, winning the FA Cup was an ambition in itself, owing to the opening at White Hart Lane of the new West Stand. They won the FA Cup for the second year in a row. He's the man taking it. He's saved it! Spurs have won it! Spurs have won the UEFA Cup. I forced myself to be as perfect as I could be, left and right foot, and I think that's the standard you have to set. Oh, he's done it again! What he normally did was... Uh, that the people in the stands enjoy football. Is going to have a crack? He is, you know. Oh, I say! Brilliant! Whether it's the 90s with Klinsman, Sheringham, Anderton. Anderton. Oh, that's a fabulous goal! Ladley King! It's just that certain type of player that plays with Tottenham that makes you realise why you love football. Hoping they could win. 
win. Oh, didn't lose. Oh, what a strike by Sandro. Even Reina spills one for Adamayor. Also goes on the line. Privilege to come to a club of such high ambitions towards the future. And the foul makes it three. Flowing, fluid, and forceful for Gareth Bale. That will do for starters for Tottenham. Oh, it's and it's a wonderful free kick. Spurs five, Chelsea two.